Have you ever wondered why those tiny paper cuts hurt so much more than they should? It's actually a fascinating bit of science that explains why these seemingly minor injuries can drive us absolutely crazy with pain. Picture this. You're flipping through a book or shuffling papers at work and suddenly, ouch, that sharp stinging sensation hits you. We've all been there cursing at what looks like the most insignificant cut ever. But here's the thing. That small paper cut is actually a perfect storm of pain. When you get a normal cut, like from a knife or scraping your knee, it usually bleeds right away. That bleeding actually serves an important purpose. It helps clean the wound and begins the healing process. Plus, the blood creates a protective layer over those sensitive nerve endings in your skin. But paper cuts, they're different. They're usually so shallow that they barely bleed at all. And that's exactly why they hurt so much. Those nerve endings in your skin, thousands of them, stay completely exposed to the air. Every time you move your finger, those nerve endings get irritated again and again. It's like having a tiny but constant reminder of your unfortunate encounter with that seemingly harmless piece of paper. What makes it even worse is where paper cuts typically happen. On our fingers and hands, which are some of the most sensitive parts of our bodies. These areas have a much higher concentration of nerve endings than most other parts of our body. Think about it. We need that sensitivity to handle delicate tasks and feel textures. But when those nerve endings are exposed and irritated, that same sensitivity works against us. So next time you get a paper cut and wonder why such a tiny wound causes such dramatic pain, remember, it's not you being a baby about it. It's actually your body's nerve endings screaming for that protective layer of blood that just won't come. Nature can be pretty ironic sometimes, can it?